Hey everyone, Verizon. Uh, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV The After Years. Well, we're going to be heading into the Tower of Trials. Let's switch it to Act of Battle. I upped the game volume a little bit, but not much. Just like a decibel level. I figured I could. I had some leeway. Anyway, uh, even though we're in the Tower of Trials, yeah, we lose that cool, cute pink dress, sadly. I mean, I like her base outfit, but I like the other dress outfit better. But, yeah, we uh, get to scale a new area of it. We get to scale the outer walls, which, you know, it's cool. So, let's go. That's a heal pod if you want to do some level grinding, and it's actually not a terrible idea. Uh, this area is pretty hard, actually, right now. Especially when you get to the second half of it, uh, enemies really start hammering poor Easy Oi. But yeah, use a bronze hourglass, or not bronze, breastplate, uh, if you don't get 16 speed, which we don't. Now, Izzy Oi also has the uh, ninjutsu ability, uh, which can cast the flood spell, and the heal pill ability, which is very good. I'll show you her illusions in the next fight if I can get into a battle. Thank you. That's really bad, okay. I didn't want to get there, but okay. Here, we'll kill two of these guys, and then I'll show you the ability. If I can hit them. I only have one hit attack multiplier, so... Here. I don't know why this is called an illusion. I mean, it's just her, like, acting sexy. Like, you know, Jessica from Dragon Quest or something. But it's pretty useful here against those uh, Hell Divers, because they kill themselves with Beak, or petrify themselves, I guess. Uh, to be more accurate. But usually I don't bother with it. Uh, you can't multi-target it, which kind of is unfortunate. Although it's actually useful against uh, gargoyles, I suppose. Yeah. Get a crossbow. Well, actually, we don't have the arrow yet. Bronze hourglass, potion. There's the ice arrow. Ice arrow, crossbow. Go into the back row. Get a tent. Awesome. Grab the eye drops. Awesome. Now, it's at this point that it gets a little harder. If I encounter a gargoyle, I will... Okay, well, I got a preemptive strike, but I'm still going to use illusion. Ah. Try that again. I want it to work. Because he'll, uh... There you go. He'll, um, tornado himself, and, uh, that'll be useful. Well, he'll tornado the other enemies for me, which will be good. So, yeah, I'd use Illusion against that guy if, I, if you're still level 7. Wow. Really easy, Oi. I know, you already got that guy, Gargoyle. I appreciate it. The Gargoyle hits very hard, so... He's also weak to Holy, but... What is going on? There we go. Jeez. Otherwise, that gargoyle would be hammering me, and I might actually die. I suppose you could also use Flood a couple of times, but Illusions is safer. Yeah, it's actually, I actually kind of like the ability here. But after this, I'll probably never use it again. You can't multi-target it, which really hurts it. It's not like Cry in a, a PSP version of FF4, sadly. I wish it was, but it's not. Really need another attack multiplier. Yeah, easy way leveled up. Check her stats. 15 speed. Awesome. Now we're gonna equip the foot ninja gear. That will help her so much. Uh, I need that. Yep. Now I don't really need the uh, uh, the illusions ability. Go in here. Grab the, uh, well, you can save if you want. Again, even if you tent, it won't change the moon phase, so no point in that. Now that thorn whip, I'll just show you, it's weaker than what we got. It can paralyze enemies, which I guess is kind of nice, but not anything I care about.
Auto attack the hell divers. I can't believe you missed the having two multipliers. I think we can fought every enemy except for uh I wing moths and um larvas. But I would just attack them early. I'll use flood on them later. Uh you'll see. I think that's all the treasures except for the two hidden ones. Oh crap, did I heal? I don't know. Yeah, I did, good. Okay, the zoo is the boss fight and you need to be very careful. He hits twice, he can kill you. Luckily, he's pretty slow, but I'm gonna wait to see him, what he does here. He attacks me twice, okay. Use heal pill. He can kill you very, very, very easily. But luckily you run circles around him, so. Let's see, can I get another one in? No, okay. This is pretty much what you gotta do. You gotta alternate healing and attacking. Cause you get two turn. Well, you normally get two turns in for his, you know, one attack, but he decided to, uh, she decided to miss there. Oh, well, last heal pill. But I should be able to get him. One more attack ought to do it. Nope. We'll have to use that uh, potion then. Or high potion. Which is kind of unfortunate, but that's okay. Should be able to survive two attacks now. Wow, he's still alive. There we go. If I needed to, I would have thrown the high potion. Yeah, it is kind of weird that they're building a tool here. It's pretty hard to actually beat that zoo. He's pretty difficult. If you feel the need to level grind to beat him, you know, don't be ashamed of that. It's it's not an easy fight. You could also go back down and use the heal pot if you need some more MP. I didn't use any, but you know, I'm not getting any from what I'm leveling up, you know. Well, actually, I used the healing, yeah. Which, I guess you could use potions instead, you know, either way. But I figured I had enough MP. Uh, apparently, the Tower of Abil is glowing, so yeah. Uh, we basically learned absolutely nothing by coming here. In fact, it's kind of unclear what... Uh, Easy Oi was even doing here, I guess. I mean, I guess she was here to check on the status of the Earth Crystal, but it's never really made, you know, apparent. Kind of strange. Anyway, behind here, there's uh, a couple of chests. And they're kind of hard to find. Because unfortunately, one of them is to the north and one's to the south, so you need to... There, nope. Go one over one, hit down, no, X, down, X, over, down, X, over, down, X, over, down, X, no, there it is. And then just north of that one is a white fang, okay. Yeah, if you don't know the white fang is up there, it can be really hard to find it once you open the other chest, which is what marks where it is. So just go straight north from the uh, high potion chest. Ah, right, these guys, okay. I don't think I have enough for flood, no. I'd use Flood to one-shot these guys. These guys are actually really good experience. Speaking of experience, uh, I want to get uh, Ezioi up to level 15. And, oops, we don't need to come in here. And the best way to do that is to go all the way back down to the bottom, uh, find the healing pot, and just do some level grinding. It's, it doesn't take long at all. It's like five, ten minutes. Pretty easy. In fact, we're gonna go ahead and put the uh, cursor on keep. I don't think it's this one, right? Oh yeah, it is. We have to go down through the stairs here. Okay, well, I could switch my rows, but why bother? Now oh, we got an alarm clock there, cool.
Eventually we'll get to the bottom, but you know, not today apparently. I'm gonna make it a you know a shorter episode. Is that what is going on? The encounter rate. Because uh, I just want to do like probably one of these little mini missions per episode. I couldn't do easy ways in one because I had to you know do the little edge beginning part there. But I think I can do the rest of them in one. Uh, not all together. I mean one at a time. I mean, if the fight takes five seconds, and I can end it out. Uh, encounter rate. What? What is going on here? <laughs> okay, normally it the encounter rate is not this insane in this tower. I'm kind of confused, actually. Can I like make it to the pot so I can take my pause break? Okay. No. No, that's enough, game. Nope, nope, y you beat me. That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> I, I want to take my pause, please. Thank you. Okay, so now I will show you how I level grind. It'd be really nice if I got those enemies again, but I probably won't now. No. Well, we're going to auto battle flood. And that's basically what we're going to do. It basically kills everything down here. Let's see if I can get the character, the enemies that I care about. There they are. These are the guys I care about. Yay. Yeah, 250 experience, or almost. And it's real fast. Let's see, I think it kills Helldivers too. And obviously when you run low on MP, just use the healing pot. Simple enough. And you get... You know, fast experience. You want to level grind to level 15 because that's when uh, Easy Way will learn an ability called Heal Salve. It is unique to her. It is her tier two healing ninja spell and it's basically like a Kiraga. It's it's excellent. And it's basically Easy Way's one use in later on when she comes back. So uh, if you don't do this now, she's going to be completely dead waiting for you. So, I would definitely recommend, you know, getting to level 15. So, I'll take care of that, and then I'll be right back. Alright, we did it. Yeah, yeah, it only took like five minutes. <laughs> Simple enough, we get the heal salve. It's basically like uh, a Kiraga spell. I don't think it's Kira, I think it's stronger than that. But yeah, she's the only ninja that gets that, uh, or Kunoichi, I guess. Of the Eblon 4, or Eblon 5, really, because Edge doesn't get it either. Uh, it makes her pretty good, actually. It's a good spell. Good ninjutsu. One of the best in the game, actually. Anyway, we want to head back to Troya to buy that silver armlet. Uh, the reason why I'm buying an arm gear, by the way, is because you just don't get very many arm gears in the entire tale as a whole, so... As far as armor is concerned, buying... Arm gear is typically a good idea. But yeah, that's why I'm buying it. There's just we just don't get much. I think I wanna go ahead and equip it on her. Yep. We're gonna go ahead and equip it on her right now. Um yeah, she doesn't need the uh foot ninja gear anymore either. Since now she has base uh, 18 speed, and she's not anywhere close to uh, 32. Now, if you took Edge's equipment to make this tail easier, uh, I need to go get the... Uh... Oh, no, I want to show off something with Palom. Yeah, right. If you took Edge's equipment, you could unequip it now and, uh, you know, get, get it for the next character, but I'm not going to. Hey, Palom, how's it going? Yeah, he's still here. Yeah, it, totally somebody else, uh, not easy, oi. <laughs> guess so. What? What's up? Just thinking about how scary women can be sometimes. I guess he does recognize her. I don't know. I don't know why he uh, doesn't. I guess they don't say anything interesting. 
I guess he doesn't say anything to, uh... Leonora for some reason, but, you know. Did he even go in to the castle? I never thought to do that, actually. No. No, you, you, you can't. Okay. I didn't think so. I actually never even tried it before. <laughs> I am going to make a save before we uh, get on the ship because, well, I'm going to have to replay it. I'm going to end the episode when we switch to the next character, or when we get to that screen. We're going to be picking Sukinawa next, by the way. Let me go to the... Here it is. Make a save. And let's take the ship and get out of here. Yeah, the ship was actually gone if you came over here later with Palum. And apparently, now we know why. I guess Eblon's kinda towards Basidia. It's like on the way. Uh, now, I don't know how they get there, you know, with no compass, but whatever. We're just gonna, maybe they fixed it or something, or got a replacement in Troya, I don't know. Probably. But yeah, that's it for uh, Easy Oi's mission. So, since we completed that, she'll actually be around later. If you don't do any of these, uh, like, if you skip Edge's tail entirely, I don't think they die. I just think you just don't get them in the party later. What's what thing? Oh, the tower. Yeah, it's glowing. Yeah, let's uh, go faster. Well, I guess they can get to Eblon pretty easily by uh, just looking at the glowing tower. All right, so now we get to do a full moon. So I'm going to be picking Sukinawa for the full moon one. But we'll do that next time. So yeah, this is Ryzen. Thanks for watching. Take care.